So hey, how you doing? Welcome back. It's the first time uh, I'm going to work on the car in 2016. It's a new year and it's time to up the game. So uh, this time of year everybody starts to decide they're going to work on their body and I'm going to work on this body here. So if, if you remember looking back a few months ago when I put up uh, the introduction to the car itself, I pointed out that the body itself was, I, it was pretty straight. The metal didn't have a lot of dents, but it did have a lot of surface rust on uh, some of the areas like above the windshield and there's some pieces here, some rock chips and that that eventually had, had uh, chipped and rusted. So. To start out with this, now that I'm pretty much done with the interior, I'm going to start moving on to the body work. Now for this year, I don't plan on doing anything major. I'm going to save that for the next winter when I can completely tear the car down. I don't have any interior to work on, I won't have any of those chassis really to do much with. And then uh, this will be the next winter's project, is getting this body straight and primered and getting it ready to send out for paint to a shop I have picked out. So let me show you kind of what we started with and uh, where I'm going to keep on going with. So as you can kind of see here, a lot of the car, especially when I bought it, had uh, cracked paint all the way down and it was starting to surface rust. So really what I'm going to do is just use a, uh, um, I guess a paint stripping wheel on a corded or a, a battery screwdriver basically just to strip off the metal. I'm going to strip this all down. And as you can see, I've started to uh, hit some primer in here. So really all I want to do is just get this cleaned up, put some primer on it, something uh, it's going to be a self-etching primer. And that will keep it for this year. As I don't keep the car outside, it won't be in too much weather, like rain and all that fun stuff. So I don't plan to put it on a two-part seal or anything. If I was going to leave it outside, I'd, put, I'd do the etching paint and a two-part sealer or just a two-part sealer on bare metal, whatever the case would be. So with this, I just need to get it stripped off and get some etching primer on it, get it cleaned with acetone and get it cleaned up so there's no fingerprints in that. And then it should keep for another year. It'll be, uh, looks like it has chicken pox for the paint, but
Okay, so that's pretty much it um, for the piece that I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to let this dry. I'm not about to watch paint dry. It's, my hair's kind of tedious. <laughs>